Welcome to Good Mythical More. Can you or we or both of all of us collectively hear a superhero's power and then after hearing said power then be able to guess the name of the superhero? Well, we're going to find out, man. Do you know yeah, what we're we going to do before that? We're going to try to guess what you call a group of meerkats. Now, you watched that meerkat show with your family. That's, I remember y'all talked about it's it. It's been a while. Yeah, they, they, you know, they each had not only, you know, um, personalities of their own, but they, there was, there was drama in the family and uh, lots of high stakes situations out there on the, uh, on the savannah, prairie, whatever. How about a mass? A mass of meerkats. I, I think it's a kit of meerkat. Okay. A mob. A mob of meerkats. Mob. Uh, makes sense. I like kit better. I feel like I have a special ability to come up with some catchy ones of these if, uh, if you group namers want to call me. Well, speaking of special abilities, as Master Mythical, my special ability, which I will begin demonstrating right now, is that any time that I want, I can summon a mythical item. I, Master Mythical, summon the first mythical item. <laughs> See, it's just, I have access. There's a there's sort of my magic spots right here off of the camera. I can't show you that. I can just summon things that are just significant to us here at Mythical. Okay, so you're like the company librarian. Yeah, exactly. I'm cool with that. Yeah, but it's magic. It's like a magic uh, caretaker. All right, let's hear the first one. Okay, here is the ability con to control bees that are stored in his belt to fight gangsters and Nazis. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need. Do we do we need to write these down? He has a he has a bee belt. Yeah, this is a competition, bro. Bee belt. Um. Have you seen the 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 uh, bee removal la lady on TikTok? Yes. By the way? Yes, oh my she, goodness. She, she went viral because she. What does she do? She, she talks in a she talks yeah. in a really soothing voice and tells you what she's doing done with the bees and she found some bees in the floor of this place and she cut it up and then she took the bees and uh, put the queen into a hive and they all left overnight into the hive. She like people call her to remove large beehives and stuff from their houses and businesses without killing them and she just straight up like waltzes in with no protection and like removes these giant hives of bees. And she does like the hand scooping thing, like Bill at the at the bee farm that we went to, and just like scoops them all out and plops them in. And I, I don't the scooping of bees, as Bill explained it to us. He Bill, was, he, as Bill explained it to us, he was able to do that because they were like juvenile bees. They were bees of a certain type or age. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. She she assesses it. She says in one. I watched all of them. She says in one that she she has to assess the bee type and the bee culture. Before and she then, starts scooping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, somehow they know she has how no, docile she, she they She has are. no protection. What, they know if they need protection. But she hasn't had protection in any video that I saw. I'm calling this the queen bee. I just said honey boy. Yeah, it's a, um, I said his belt. But he can be a, a, a queen bee. We don't okay. know. Right. Um, but no, he's not. It's a uh, red bee. Red bee <laughs> okay. from Hit Comics in 1940. Um, red bee. That's cool. Unleash bees on people. So a belt. His real name is Richard Raleigh or Ra Raleigh, um, and he works as an assistant district attorney and gets the scoop on crime around the city. Right. And his favorite bee is named Michael. Because Michael doesn't die after stinging enemies, which Good is highly Michael. convenient for Michael. Yeah. Yeah, he's got that. that is. He's got that deeply rooted stinger. I, Master Mythical, summon my second mythical item. <laughs> well, you, you thought about all the things you were going to do. I, I'm, a, I'm personally offended that you're able to uh, summon that because. You want, would you like to summon it? I would like to find it. It's down there. Oh, look what I found. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. And it matches your shirt. Turns out you summoned this just in time for me to find it. 
Yeah, right. And you, you can keep that one. I don't have to put it back oh, into the magic you. spot. Put that right there. Okay, how about this? The ability is able to live without any sustenance and can rebuild her molecular yep, structure after any sort of lethal attack. Physically dead, but basically immortal, she can also walk on air and communicate with the dead. Okay, so she... What, what's is, the first thing you said? Have you guys seen that um, dead woman on TikTok? What's the first thing whoa, you whoa, said? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that just a throwback to the bee woman? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it is. Because I was thinking, man, TikTok, I don't put anything past TikTok. Because I think that somebody should yeah. be doing that. Cause yeah, they, yeah, she like comes to your house well, and Well, because dead people don't have rights. You can just film them. What, what, is the, what is the first thing you said? Uh, ability to live without, without any sustenance. sustenance and can oh, rebuild her dead. molecular, man, that word for me, molecular. structure. I think I got this one. Rhett? Uh, I, I went with the, the sustenance thing and went with self reliant Hmm. Uh, went with corpse wife. Huh? I see what you did there. Um, no, I almost gave it away when I made that callback because her name's Dead Girl. Dead Girl? Hold on, yeah. is this like a graphic novel? Marvel 2002. So not even that old. Dead Girl, huh? Um, her mutant power was activated after she was murdered by a one-night stand. <laughs> well, crap. Jeez. Uh, she came back to life and killed her murderer. Um, she's part of the X-Force. Uh-huh. Which X -Force. is the more aggressive and militant offshoot of the X-Men. Yeah. Duh. They're going to be a... Are they going to have a movie? They should. They, eventually they will. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe straight to streaming. Okay. Hey, that's respectable these days, man. You can go straight Two. to streaming, no problem. No problem, no problem, no problem. The ability to create acidic sweat with enough quantities, he can create acidic blasts of energy. Oh, what the hell? I think we all have this ability from time to time. Oh, is that a hint? No, I was just musing. Okay, I'm ready. I would have been ready. <clears throat> Spewing acid? The human battery. Oh, that's mm. good. I just mm -hmm. went with the perspirator. He sweats. Yeah, he perspirates. But it's acid. Oh, but it's bad. I mean, I feel like both of your names are better than the real name, which is just the anarchist. <laughs> which doesn't. How the heck were we supposed to get anarchist? I have no idea. It's Marvel 2001. He's born in Alaska. <laughs> I don't know why that's a fact. Raised by adoptive parents and discovered mutant abilities through his OCD. Oh. oh. And get this, you will never guess OCD, who he huh? dated. Actually, you should guess who he dated. Uh, this dead girl. Yeah. He dated dead girl for a while, and they went on a tour called the Death and Anarchy Roadshow. I, I don't know how I missed this era. The anarchist has OCD. Master Mythical summons his third mythical item. I don't even know how to spell anarchist. Anarchist? This is uh, the Chipsy Hall. Oh, this is the. Beans. I'm glad to know that. I'm glad to know that we keep those. It's just the box. I'm glad to know that we've kept the package. It's just for the that. box, but you know, I could summon the cookies if I wanted to, but I don't want to show off. Hey, uh, we want to invite you to check out the Mythical Kitchen channel because we believe in what's happening over there. And one of the things you'll notice is that they got a sweet apron, <laughs> which features the pasta puss. Mm -hmm. It's an octopus made of pasta. A superhero, of Or a sorts. platypus made of cats. I don't know which. 
you'll like it. You'll love mm -hmm. it. You'll wear it. You'll you'll oven. You'll cook. You'll saute. You'll do it all. It'll be great. You'll oven. Mythical.com. You com. will oven. Yeah, oven all you want. Anarchist had nothing to do with acid. I mean, there was not. There was no way we could have gotten that. Maybe with this next one, you give us a little bit of a hint if it requires. Yeah, this one is. Yeah, the only ability for the superhero is to turn into any flavor of ice cream. Really? Yeah, for real. He can turn into any flavor of ice cream. I like this. Uh, is it? So is this a catchy name? It's it's an ice cream related name, I would hope. It is an ice cream related name. Is, is it catchy? Is he drive around uh, an ice cream truck? Um, I do not have that information. Okay. This is a good name for a superhero, even if it's incorrect. I think we might be. Oh. Oh, what's well, yours? Creamer. The creamer. Super scooper. That's good. Oh. Uh, oh. The actual name is I Scream. Like E Y E. I Scream. scream. Uh, uh, it's a Marvel character That's from 1983. 83? They were trying a lot, weren't they? He decided I that he wanted scream. to kill the X-Men because their abilities made his look ridiculous. Yeah. Fair. Not, that is fair. Kind of his ability makes his ability look ridiculous. Yeah. If you ask me. We would be showing pictures of these, but um, you, the, we you can't that do that. They, they, they get mad. They'll say, well, the money that you would make is now ours. Right, yeah. Marvelous. We're very, not standing for that. Very possessive. So we can talk about it, but we can't show you what we're talking about. But what we can do is summon another mythical item. Look at that old, it's the old, old mug. mug. It's the old mug. You may have one of these laying around. Look at that. Just it's, like we do. It's not for wider, sale. Wider but shorter than the current mug. And it doesn't change. And it's not magic. Colors. All right. What else? My favorite. Got? Um, part before the mythical items appear is the moment of calm when you you summon and then there's just a just a beat almost as if someone's handing you something but they're not well i have to reach um, into the magic space yeah and it has to be ready yeah 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 it's like the void opens and there's just a hush <laughs> a hushed void it makes no noise either um the ability to be a sentient stretch of roadway that can teleport and integrate themselves into any geography as well as communicate with sapient beings. With what beings? Like humans. Sapient? Yeah. Sapiens. Okay. A sentient stretch of roadway. What? Okay. I think there's a hint in that. I like this ability. I mean, it's not weird or esoteric or difficult to understand why it's a good power at how all. How could you how could you build a whole superhero around that concept? It's so strange. But, but it makes you want to read about it though. Or at least see a picture of it. So I'm very frustrated. Well, I think he would. I mean, can we see a picture and just describe what he looks like? Yeah, I mean Okay. Yeah. All right. I think he uh, would be called Pavement. Oh, that's good. That is good. Pavement. I mean, that's better than the smart bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really yeah, smart bridge. Yeah, that sounds like an Indiegogo project. The, the, I don't think this is on. Is it? Can you show it to us? It's, what is the yeah. answer? Danny the Street. <laughs> Danny the Street. God. What is the context? It's I mean, um, DC 1990. Uh, Danny the Street provides a place of refuge, safety, and shelter for those who have been cast out by society by putting on entertaining drag shows and shops to visit. I'm looking at pictures, and literally, it's just illustrated streets. Right. Like, there it's, is no, it's just a street. That's all it is. At yeah. one point, they it's became... like a bunch of shop fronts in the street. 
they became Danny the World, but then were reduced down to Danny the Brick. Wow, they were they were really reaching. I honestly cannot. I mean, I don't think any of this is a joke, but it's so weird. Yeah, yeah. There's some. I mean, there's a there's so many weird superheroes. It's like they would they would try anything. At a certain How about point. this? How about this? To shoot pennies from his wrists as high speed projectiles. Uh. Pennies. Hey, look, everybody. It's coiny. <laughs> I went in a similar fashion, added a little bit more flair. The fantastic coin. Coin is a good word. Yeah. I like coin. Coin. Could you name a kid that? Coin. Yeah. Coin, come here. Shut up, coin. You oh, got to yeah. reprimand your kid to know if the name really sticks. Although, if it was your kid, Link, you'd have to name it Loin. <laughs> That's right. Or La Coin. <laughs> The Almighty Dollar. Mm, the Marvel. Almighty Dollar. Fantastic coin is as close as we've gotten. Oh, but he he looks like a total nerd. Well, Jay Pennington Penny Packer, Penny Packer was an average accountant until he went to a self-esteem camp that was actually a front now, for I'm a, a scientist to test his invention that could give anyone powers. He gets thick whenever he becomes the almighty dollar. But let me tell you this. When I was at IBM, uh, I worked with a bunch of industrial engineers and they had this idea to like, to split up the industrial engineers to be on different teams with di different d people with different strengths. So instead of meeting with other engineers every week, mm. I would meet with, um, you know, there'd be middle management people and there'd be like logistics people and there was an accountant on our team. And we tried this for like, um, a few months, and so our accountant, his name was, his last name was Pennypacker, just like this guy. And I don't know how he didn't know or bring it up constantly that he- A Pennypacker? He, yeah, Pennypacker, and he was an accountant. Was he good? Uh, how would I know? Like, how, do, <laughs> how do I measure whether he's good? At, you any good? He I seemed to know like his numbers. That's. That's a little crazy. crazy. It's like it's self fulfilling. I mean, ninety two. I mean, uh, maybe he, he's the freaking almighty dollar. Yeah. In real life. Yeah. Man. He has an alter ego. He wore glasses too, and he. I mean, he looked like you'd think that he would look. I summon my last mythical item. It'd help if you didn't look over there. Just help. What is that? It's your underwear. It's underwear for the wedgie machine. It's uh, my it's, underwear. It's labeled for the next time we use it. Okay, you have one more chance because I've totally been keeping score. Okay, okay. This is this the is ability. So interesting. Uses his nose hairs to whip and constrict enemies. Seriously? Nose hairs to whip and constrict no. enemies. I whip my nose hairs back and forth. Nose hairs. Let's see. I mean, the older you get, the longer those nose hairs get. So I think it's got something to do with age. I'm thinking the same thing, bro. And actually, this sounds like an incredible superhero when you just break down what it what it is. Yeah, what'd you say? Granddaddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's you know, good. when you put it in two two different words like that, it's like that seems like a this superhero. is pretty epic too, though. The elder. Oh, hmm. I was gonna say, uh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. The elder statesman. The That's elder what statesman. I was gonna say. Yeah. But then I just shortened it. Tell me, it's grand. The elder. This one, um, I need Kaylin to reveal because <clears throat> uh, there's a specific way to say it. 
Yeah, so there's literally no way you could have guessed it, but the name is so great that we had to keep it in. Um, so his name is Bobobo, Bo, Bobobo. And yes, that's his actual name, and that's the name of the show. <laughs> that's Bobobo, awesome. Bo, Bo, Bobobo? Yeah, yeah. It's a like fever dream of a show. It's amazing. Where could Bo, I watch Bo, this? Bo. Um, probably on an illegal server somewhere online. <laughs> so it's it's got, got it. hyphens too. It's Bobo Bo, Bo 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 Bo. And it was it was a Cartoon Network thing. Yeah, it was like it started wow. as an anime, it like slash manga, and then they like had a dub that played on Cartoon Network back in the early two thousands. That's cool. He's got a blonde afro. He fights to protect the world from the hair hunter forces that want to shave everyone in the world bald. But in his normal in normal photos, he doesn't have nose hair. But then it they come out. He's just an accountant. He kind of comes out. He's got a he sort of he's got a midriff like Chase likes to wear sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Chase is what you could be for Halloween. I'm Boba Bo 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 Bo. Y'all check. <laughs> look, this is what you need to Google to have fun the rest of your day. Rest of your and day. And because I've established I'm not doing anything the rest of my day, this is the only thing I'm going to be doing. Bo 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 Bo. You. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron, available now at mythical.com.